Hi, Pep. Um, you've obviously got a huge history with Real Madrid and last year added to that. What does it mean for you to play in, in this stadium and be in this city? Well, it's not, uh, it's not the first time. It's a competition like everybody knows, uh, quarterfinals, uh, first leg. Focus on what you have to do, uh, try to discover the, the strength points and our rival and, and go for it. So try to focus on the football game. Just to Ben in the middle, please. <coughs> Thank you. Hi, Pep. Um, I remember the games that Jude Bellingham played against you for Borussia Dortmund when he was 17. Um, showed a lot of maturity to my rather inexperienced eye. But I wonder, you've come up against him since as a player. How have you seen him develop? And what were your first impressions of him when you saw him in those matches? Well, play with 70 years old when, yeah, we faced one or twice with Borussia Dortmund. And I said, in terms of... Not just the skills, because I think the difference is what he has in his in his brain, in his mind, and of course he came this uh, in this club with the exceptional players, with a manager like Carlo that had the incredible ability to know exactly the best position for which one, and Carlo found him. So click quick and make a have done an incredible season in terms of goals, assists. He's present in the box. Uh, but not just with Madrid, with a national team from UK, from England, always he has been brilliant. So he's just 19 or 20 years old, he has, so he has a, a long, long career ahead of him. Jack. <coughs> Hiya, Pep. Um, obviously, there's no Kyle Walker here. Um, Nathan Ake is not here. Uh, Guardiola didn't train today, but has, has he's, traveled. He travel. is, he, is, he, is he fit? He's to... doubt. A doubt. Yeah. How how much of a headache has that been for you, particularly in the right back area, and decide what to do, or has your job actually been made easier by the injuries? Well, it's what it is. So, also also Madrid, uh, Courtois, Militao, Alaba have been for a long time without players. It, it's true that the best player to control a player like Vinicius is Kyle. Unfortunately, with a friendly game, was injured. Uh, that is what it is. So we'd love to have him, but what can I say? So we play with 11 and try to adapt for the players that we have because uh, inches is part of the long seasons, but the, unfortunately, in the decisive part, have a lot of inches in the same department in the back four and have to find a solution. Uh, we think tonight a little bit more what we have to do and, and try to get a good result for the second leg. Fred? <coughs> Hi, Pep. Um, because of last season, uh, Real Madrid are undoubtedly hurt. And I believe you, you, you understand the power of being hurt, because that's why, uh, how Manchester City arrived here last time, because of the season before. Um, can you use their thirst for revenge in your favour? No. It's last season. Two seasons ago, we were out for the last minutes here. Last season, we won. Looks like a classic, uh, you know, between them and ourselves in the last years. But no, I don't have the feeling that is is what it is last season. So he is right. The same managers, no long time ago. Uh, but new players we have. They have new players. Uh, so completely different games. And of course, we have a little advantage for the fact the second leg is at home. Like we feel strong. We are incredible confident. But we have to play first 90 minutes here and here. The games are long for many reasons. Uh, expect different games in the same game. They will be able to, to incredible press high, so aggressive. They are so dangerous. If you are able to do a good process, they will drop. They will defend a low block. But after, everybody knows, not Pep, everybody knows the, the strength for the transitions that they have, not just with Vinicius, for Rodrigo, Bellingham, Ronay, Valverde. So they have a, an incredible pace. <laughs> to do this, that's why you have to. But at the same time, you cannot come here just to control the game. You have to go here to try to hurt them, to punish them, to try to let them feel we are here to score the goals. And in that mix, you have to read how you have to do, how you have to control it. So, so we are talking about Real Madrid, that is the ability to control many, many aspects of the game. In the same time, you have to, with uh, who we are, try to impose our game. Jamie. Hi, Pep. 
hello. Um, Carlo said earlier today um, that in, in the game you beat them at the Etihad last year, he said um, his team, Real, had played with, quote, no personality. Mm. Um, first of all, are you surprised to hear him say that? And secondly, can you do the same, make them I'm play not, without any personality? <coughs> no, I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not going to... To don't be agree with Carlo for the huge admiration I have uh, to him is not about that. It's just sometimes when you are I have experience because I was in Barcelona, like we can be equal for a consideration Real Madrid. When Real Madrid lose, it's the people think it was a really really bad, and they have to think that the other team was better. And in football, it happened. That game we were better, not because Real Madrid was bad. I would say. So we make a really, really a lot, a lot amount of good things at that. But in that clubs, always we are judged. Uh, we were really bad, was not good. I tried to think differently. So sometimes I came here, they beat me, was a football player for a good game. And I can say they were not bad, they were better. It's football, football game can happen.